Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial, we will be talking about quadratic formula. My very first question is, what is a quadratic formula and how what it, it looks like? Well, this is our quadratic formula. Now my next question is, how did we come up with solution? Where did this came from? So this is what we have a question. How we can prove from this quadratic equation, which is ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero to get this quadratic formula. So this is the question mark. So now I'm gonna show you how to prove this. So let's go ahead and get started with our proof right now. The very first thing is, as you can see, we have this quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero. The very first step, I want to make sure only x variables must be on the left hand side. That means this constant c must go on the other side. So we are left with ax squared plus bx. And when you move this positive c on the other side becomes negative c. Next thing, I want you to do this one. Right now, our leading coefficient over here is a. We want to make sure that it must be 1. So this a, how are we going to make it 1? By just dividing by a. Since we divided by a over here, we must divide across the board. So what we got right now, a and a cancels out, we got 1x squared plus b over a x equals to minus c over a. The next step, I want you to just look at this one right now, this part only, the coefficient of x, which is b over a. Don't worry about this sign. I'm going to put down b over a right up here. I want you to divide it by 2. Dividing by 2 is same as multiplying by 1 over 2. So say this simply becomes what? b over 2a. Whatever we got, we must square it. So this is what we're going to do square. So whatever we got, this quantity, whatever, blah, 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 we're going to go ahead and add on both sides. So this is what I'm going to do. x square plus b over a x plus and then minus c over a plus. And now we are going to add this quantity on both sides, which is b over 2a squared and b over 2a squared. So far so good. Now I want you to look at this left hand side, this part only over here. This represents a complete square of this one. x plus b over 2a squared. Now you might be wondering how did we come up with this x came over here, this whatever, this b over 2a, this came over here, and whatever this sign, this came in the middle. And once we did this thing, let's take care on the right hand side, negative c over a plus b over 2a, when you open up that square, become b square over 4a squared. So far so good. Now in the next step, what we want to do is look at on the right hand side. Our denominator over here is 4a squared and here it is a. We want to make sure that our common denominator must be 4a squared. If I divide this one over here, 4 times a at the bottom, that's going to give us 4a squared. And same thing, I'm going to multiply 4a on the top as well. So that's going to give us negative 4ac on the top divided by 
four a time a become four a square plus b square over four a square. And on the left hand side, we still have a x plus b over two a square. Now the next thing what we are going to do is, here we have common denominator is 4a square, isn't it? So I can write negative 4ac plus b square. Instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down b square first and then I'm going to put down minus 4ac and on the left hand side we still have a x plus b over 2a square. The next I want to do is I want to get rid of this square because we want to solve for x. I want you to take care, take the square root on both sides. So far so good. So now what happens is this square and square root they undo each other. So what we ended up with x plus b over 2a turns out to be equal to positive or negative square root on the top. We're going to split it up. B square minus 4AC divided by square root of 4A square. So far so good. Now we are pretty much done. So positive or negative so this is b square minus 4 ac look at this thing at the bottom 4 a square when you take the square root that's going to be a simply 2 a and we got x plus b over 2 a now i want you to move this part on the right hand side because we want to isolate x so x is going to be simply this minus b over 2a this mover here become negative and then we have a positive or negative b square minus 4ac everything is this is divisible by 2a so far so good we are pretty much done here what is our common denominator on the right hand side. 2a is our common denominator. So we ended up with minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac and on this side this is x. So this is our proof and that is our required quadratic formula. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.